Hello and welcome to another AutoCAD Facebook Facecast. My name is Charlie Crocker and I'm a product manager for the AutoCAD team. And today I have with us a good friend of mine and colleague, uh, Jerry LeBay. Jerry, hey, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, well, I've been with Autodesk for 16 years. Uh, and uh, my role now is a program manager with our engineering uh, industry and small business solutions uh, and one of the things I'm responsible for is coordinating all of our activities around Autodesk University which is what we're here to talk ah, about today. So exactly so as you saw from the title this is a face cast called you and AU our hope is that today you get an opportunity to hear about what Autodesk University is what's cool about Autodesk University we can kind of give you a little bit of a backstage uh, around what what's going to be coming um, and how you can actually get connected, whether you're going to be there physically or not. So first, let's start with uh, just the basic question. What is Autodesk University, in case some of our face Facebook fans have not been there or don't know what it is? All right. Sure. Well, other than my favorite Autodesk event, uh, Autodesk University is uh, a conference for Autodesk users. So really, the one of the big things about it is lots and lots of classes for people to learn about how to use their Autodesk products more effectively. Also, it's a great place to connect with other Autodesk customers as well as with Autodesk experts, product managers and support people and things like that. And also to explore what some of the new technologies that Autodesk is working on. Uh, and where, where is it this year? This year it's going to be in uh, Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. Yeah, so in the last several years uh, uh, Autodesk University has been uh, in Las Vegas. It's a great event. Uh, we take over most of a convention center. Um, and this year it will be at the Mandalay Bay. Um, I've been there six years and have enjoyed every single one of them. I've been, I've presented or I've done classes or, but most of all, the best thing for me is, especially as a product manager, is I get to meet you. I get to meet the customer. Uh, we sit down and we do, sometimes we do one-on-ones, we do focus groups. It's an opportunity to just have conversations. I love showing off the new technology, but most of all, seeing how you are using the technology to do the work that you do. So what I want to do today is start by kind of showing you um, a little bit about the people. Let me see if I can get this. Here we go. So a lot of the people you've met on these face casts, and just in this picture you see Rob McGuire, Micah Dicker Dickerson, uh, Lynn Allen, myself. Uh, you've probably met uh, Rob Cohey and Stephen Hooper and plenty of other folks from inside Autodesk. We're going to be there. Jerry's going to be there, and he works with the, uh, the engineering and utilities companies. So we're going to be there, and we want to meet you. So if you can show up, and if you and if you see us, come up. Let us know who you are, and let's have a conversation. Let's have a cup of coffee. Let's go out and have a beer. Um, it'd be really great to see you. Uh, the other thing, there's lots of opportunities for beer there. There's so. a lot of opportunities for beer and blackjack and, and other things, but. But the thing that's really exciting are, and what you mentioned, are, are the classes, right? right? So um, let's see, I'm gonna bring up the AU site. So this is the Autodesk University site. You just go there and explore around, au.autodesk.com. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the classes and then Jerry's gonna talk a lot more about a lot of the other things that are happening. So if you get come up to the sessions tab here and go to the class catalog, you can see all the classes that we are going to have at this event and there's a lot of them so I'm going to browse for classes and what you'll notice very quickly I think there's over 800 classes this year so, so here it is gorgeous. classes 843 no, classes all right. and 836 speakers that's a lot of classes so let's just for for uh, uh, there's a bunch of searching we can do here if I come down here and I search on products and I just search on AutoCAD by itself let's just search AutoCAD 94 classes. There's going to be 94 classes that are focused on AutoCAD. So nobody can go see every one of them, but there's a lot of great tracks whether you want to look at mobile, you want to look at uh, specific uh, workflows for utilities, um, or, or working with our, with our cloud stuff. So I'm yeah, going to. This website makes it really easy to filter things and find out the classes that are most relevant for you. So. And you can, you can build your schedule out. Right. You can, you exactly. can figure out and, and build yeah, out your schedule by each, each day. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight a couple classes. So let's first go into the speaker area here. And I think uh, most of you have probably seen uh, Lynn Allen. Lynn has got a couple great classes that she's going to be putting on at AU. So here's Lynn Allen. I just searched by her. 
and the classes that she's going to be giving are 90 AutoCAD tips in 90 minutes. So if you're looking for new ways to become more productive within AutoCAD, in 90 minutes you'll get 90 tips. And this is a really fun, fun course um, that Lynn, is, Lynn teaches every year and expands it with, the new, with new technology. Um, but it's, it, it fills up quick, so definitely sign up for this one as quick, quickly as you can. And then she has another class, if you don't get into that one, uh, Making the Most Out of AutoCAD. I also have to do a little self-promotion here. I have two classes I'm going to be uh, participating in. That's not how I spell my name. Let me do it again. And the classes I'm going to be teaching, um, one is going to be uh, a round table on AutoCAD Design Suite. So we've talked a lot about the AutoCAD Design Suite on our face casts. It has uh, showcase and AutoCAD and uh, Mudbox and 3ds Max in it and how do these products work together so we're gonna have some great customers there um, to have conversations with and then we're gonna do one on location so how can you connect workflows from your mobile device to AutoCAD um, another class that I'd like to, to bring up here is let's go in under classes and search 360 so you've probably heard of 360, Autodesk 360, PLM 360. We've been doing face casts on those. Um, one of the courses that I think is going to be good to get you up to speed is the Autodesk 360 practical use cases. So this is a great opportunity to learn more about how people are actually working with 360. And then the final class I want to just bring up, and you can spend as much time as you want searching here, is labs. We have a lot of great labs technology on labs.autodesk.com and so they're going to be highlighting and walking you through some of the great things that you can actually uh, get access to. You know, you mentioned a lot of classes taught by Autodesk folks, but also one of the big focuses this year was getting customers to present classes uh, and we were pretty successful in that uh, with over 500 classes being taught by customers this year. So, so. more than half of the classes are actually taught by, by people like you. So. Uh, very exciting. Come to, come to this AU and next year actually come and teach a class. That would be great. So we talked about the people, opportunity to connect. Uh, we talked about the classes, huge amount of learning that you can do. And now, uh, can you help us understand what else is going to be at AU? Yeah, I mean, certainly the, the classes are, you know, probably one of the more, more valuable things that you'll get out of it. Uh, but there's things around it to really help uh, connect with other customers and, and learn about new things. Uh, so one of them is the, do we have a slide or yeah, I just talk about the lounges. So, okay. uh, you know, and that we actually are doing things differently with our lounges this year. And these are places spread around the Autodesk University facilities for customers to gather together and maybe get their hands on technology and, and get questions, answers, and, and learn things and, and connect with other customers. So one of the lounges is called The Bar. And the by the bar. way, it's because the, the Mandalay Bay has the hotel and, I don't know, this is the conference, so we're, okay. we're having a little fun with that. Uh, but it's an answer bar, so there's going to be product managers, uh, product support people, technical specialists who can answer your questions about using all of this software. So if you've got a tough issue, that's a great place to go. And, and that's going to be, that, that lounge will be open throughout the... Throughout the conference, okay. it'll be available. And there'll be workstations where you can actually get hands-on with stuff and and you know, try things out and you know, test and make sure that it works so that you understand it. And other customers who are also having the same issues. So you can come in and, and stump the AutoCAD guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah stump Charlie, he'll be there. <laughs> um, so, uh, so VBAR is one. Uh, another one is the Autodesk 360 Lounge. And this is a great place to explore those new technologies, the, the cloud computing and some of the mobile offerings, uh, things for simulation, and visualization, and collaboration. And there's some really fantastic mobile apps uh, from Autodesk that, you know, some of them may not even be available yet, um, but you'll be able to test them out there at Autodesk and sort of see where the company is going because we've got some fantastic technology on the horizon and Autodesk University is a great place to see it first. So in, in the lounge, is, is it, will there be classes in the lounge or will there be lectures in the lounge or is it just a place to kind of meet uh, and kind of connect with just yeah, different it's, folks? It's the, the, the latter. Okay. So it's a place to meet people and to get hands-on experience. So there will be, uh, whether it's iPads or the tablets, where you can actually play around with some of the new mobile technology um, in the, the 360 lounge. Okay, so we did, you, you said the, the bar. The bar. Answer bar. Uh, 360 lounge. And what's the third one? The third one, actually, we did at the last AU, it's, and it's a combo. It's the creativity studio uh, combined with our educational lounge. 
uh, and th the Creativity Studio. It's something we did last year. I was trying to figure out how to describe it. It's like a science fair and an arts and crafts booth. I right? saw so many weird things. People were making lighting things. Right, diodes and, and yeah. making your own puzzle out of wood and 3D printers. So Sketching uh, sketching aliens and R2-D2 was going on. R2-D2 yeah. was standing in front. Of that was one of our celebrities <laughs> there at uh, AU last year. So. It's really a, a fun way to sort of learn about, because Autodesk is, is really helping enable people's creativity and en enabling them to make things. So this is a place where you can make stuff, little fun pins and hats and things like that, or ne head necklaces. Um, and then the educational lounges for our students to learn about our educational offerings uh, for the next generation of designers and engineers. That's great, that's great. So uh, three different lounges. Right. Um, so there's classes, there's lounges, but we also have this monster stage, right. right? And I know on this monster stage, we end up with, you know, I've seen the Blue Man Group, I've seen, I've seen Elvis impersonators, and I've seen our CEO, and I've seen uh, many of our leaders and other people. What, what's happening on the main stage? Right, so, so what's, what's, one thing we changed last year was that, uh, so the main stage is gonna be Carl Bass and other Autodex execs talking about you know the future. Our CTO will be up there and be like really futuristic stuff, and then showcasing some customers also just doing some you know way out there things, really interesting. Uh, and that's in the huge Mandalay Bay Auditorium with right. thousands of people in it. Uh, but then what we're doing is building upon that and having some smaller sessions called innovation forums. Uh, here, let me bring up. You, you brought a slide. Let me bring that slide up here, and uh, okay, maybe so that'll help. Yeah. So. And basically the idea was, uh, you know, we used to have these things called industry sessions where the product teams would go up and talk about what's coming in their products. And that's still happening at AU, uh, but that's happening in ad hocs and in the, the lounges and some of the classes. What we wanted to do in these innovation forums was build upon main stage and showcase how our customers were using our technology to really change the world and make it a better place. So on your slide here, you have six different innovation sessions. Six different innovation sessions. And are these sessions. going to have, will these have, I see these are all uh, execs at Autodesk, but are there also going to be customers and stuff? Yeah, these? Okay. so customers and you know, I would say the closest thing we have to celebrities at our conference is going to be in these innovation forums. And I'm not going to go through the customers, but you know, what struck me was you know, some of the companies are you know, leading companies like Intel, Bechtel, and DreamWorks. But what really struck me was the titles of some of the people who are going to be uh, participating in these innovation forums. There's somebody who used to be the CIO for the White House. Uh, and one of my favorite title was a guy, his title is Digital Creatureologist. So I don't know what that is, but I'm dying. I have a feeling out. that's at one of the movie studios. Or yeah. Something. So, right. so, so anyway, uh, you know, it's a really fantastic way. I actually helped uh, produce one of these innovation forums last year. Uh, and it's a really great way to learn not just about our technology, but how it's helping change the world, right. uh, which is fascinating. That's great. So big main stage, six innovation sessions, 830 something courses, right. um, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10,000 uh, your, of your colleagues, Autodesk people, uh, people from all over the world. I mean, we, this is an international, an international audience. Definitely, definitely international. So, if, if there's still time to sign up. If you want to sign up and get to AU, um, highly recommend it. There are things that happen the weekend before um, and on Monday, but the main event really starts on Tuesday and goes through Thursday. It's really three days, um, three days, three days in Vegas. Um, there is also another opportunity, though. If you can't make it to uh, Vegas, um, right? Yeah, what there's can you do? AU virtual or virtual AU, and I think you're going to show us how to get there. Uh, so, you know, we're expecting 10,000 customers to be at AU this year, which is probably our biggest one ever. Um, you know, I remember going to it when it was like a thousand people in a little room in Philadelphia right. 15 years ago. So, you know, it's really grown, and it's great that we have so many customers who can be there uh, to interact with each other, to interact with us. Uh, but AU Virtual, and I got there it right, is. okay, uh, is a way for people who can't physically be in Las Vegas to also benefit from all the great content in the, the uh, AU experience. Uh, and uh, so uh, basically there's going to be many of the classes that are held at AU uh, will have screencasts available that you could view online. Uh, the main stage presentations and some of the innovation forms may be streamed live. Uh, and so, definitely during the AU time period, you can you know get uh, you know be able to see some of the content that's happening. But even more after AU, uh, you can 
Uh, all the stuff is archived, and you can look at it at your leisure and search for the types of classes that. And if you're if you're not able to make some of the classes or some of the innovation sessions, even if you are at AU, it's a great opportunity to go back and see some of the ones you weren't able to see uh, live. Right. So here's the site. Is there anything you want to help us uh, understand here? Well, so I guess um, you know there's some FAQs, and basically it's a it's free to sign up. Uh, if you're already going to AU, you already have your account, so just use your AU account sign up to start accessing classes. So right here, just click on sign so, up for an AU account. Yeah, or like you could click on the classes 2009 to 2011. Ooh. Okay, so that, so here you sign up for an account. If you're already an AU member and you already signed up, then you don't need to do that. Right. But you said to click here on the classes. Yeah, so there you can see how many class. I mean, there's, and if wow. you just scroll down, there's, I think, 750 or so classes archived uh, so and most of these are screencasts where you can actually see what was presented along with the slides and there's also this thing called AUTV if you click here uh, so that's where many of the main stage presentations and the videos of the innovation forms you know you can view either during the show or some of them are right this is from last show. year I remember yeah. this so um, I was I was in the audience for this one so you you'll be able to actually watch it real time or come back a little bit later yeah and there's hundreds of thousands of of customers who go and access the virtual AU uh, in the year or so after the conference. So cool. it's really great. And it's something that we started a few years ago and it's just been growing and growing. And it's a great way to, to let you know, more people benefit from all the great information that's available at AU. So I think that's, uh, that's a lot of information. You've got a couple action items. Either get yourself to Vegas and find us. We'd love to talk to you. Um, register for the classes. Find the ones that make sense for you or sign up for the virtual AU because it's a great opportunity for you to at least participate at some level with us um, and, and stay engaged. Um, and we'll also be doing live face casts at AU. So I'll be finding some customers. Um, there'll be other folks that will be face casting as well. So uh, there'll be an opportunity for you to see uh, some, some stuff that's not even on, uh, on the calendar or on the schedule directly at AU. So is there anything else you want to say before we sign off? I just I look forward to seeing you at AU. It's a great experience, and if you can't be there, definitely check out the AU Virtual. All right. Thanks again, and we'll see you in a couple days with another FaceCast. Take care. Thanks.